We actually have a handbook online on the homepage of uh, our website that uh, lists the different things how you should prepare. So it's a preparedness handbook. And uh, it's a 10 item uh, list uh, that goes from uh, preparing your pets, preparing uh, your kids, elderly, and so on. So there's different items there that you could go through a checklist and then, um, and then learn how to prepare yourself. If you just get a small economy kit, four person kit, it could be around $60 to $80 range. If you go all out and get the valve, the water heater straps, um, you know, a larger kit that has all different types of stuff in it, it could run you up to a thousand dollars. I like to tell people that, you know, think of your house as on a ship or something, you know, and there's going to be rocking and rolling. What's going to come loose? Uh, I can stick to glass or mantles or shelving or wood or anything like that and uh, it'll hold down any of your collectibles. So. Um, you just take off a little piece, twist it into the mantle, put your base right on top, and it's not going anywhere. Do a hazard hunt. Take, go with your parents around your house and just look at things. All right, there's a bookshelf next to my bed, Mom. I don't want that on me in an earthquake. As you can see, uh, there's two ways to strap down your bookcase, or we have, you can do a clock, a uh, closed drawer, anything like that. You can use screws. Uh, for wood and then there's adhesive under here where you can actually use adhesive on metal cabinets and then that's not going anywhere during an earthquake. Think about for example those pictures on the wall or those expensive things in your electronics case. Remember that those are the things that if you haven't secured them yet this is a really good time to make a list. Make a list of the things that over the next couple of days you're going to fix. You're going to secure your space to make sure that they're not vulnerable and you're not vulnerable. The straps around your water heater. Code requires two straps, top third and bottom third of the water heater. And uh, this is actually another product uh, that's required during escrow to be installed uh, to meet standards. It's important to have a water bottle, something refillable. So maybe you run out of your water, but you can go someplace else to a source and have a way to transport it back to wherever you're living. Uh, water filter is sometimes a good idea. That way you can go to a local stream and use that. We have two types of uh, water products, uh, one for purification and one for preservatives. This uh, product is for water purification. You would drop two of these tablets in a quart of water and uh, wait five minutes and then uh, shake it around. After 30 minutes uh, it becomes drinkable. This item is for uh, keeping water on shelves for five years. We, we tell people to think of going on a camping trip for a week and having everything you need for that time period, including medication, flashlights, dog food, you know, whatever you might not necessarily think of that you would have to have for a week. This is our 19-piece car kit, and it comes with a fire extinguisher. It comes with a uh, fix-a-flat. Uh, little canister here. You've got jumper cables. You've got your triangular uh, reflector. This actually comes with the five-year shelf life food and water and this is a family two-person kit. What we have here is uh, two types of pet kits. One for dogs, one for cats. And uh, as you can see here, there's all kinds of different items in here. This is a great little medical sleeve because it's easy to carry around. It opens up, rolls out, you have all your accessories right here. Okay, what we have here is our solar lantern radio. It's the solar panel. And this actually comes off. And you can set it up outside on little stands. The other way you can charge this is by dynamo. And that is right here on the side, which is you can crank this. 